Okay. We're gonna start that. Lona Lima. Okay. Uh, welcome him first. Okay. Great. So we're gonna start that. Uh, good morning, guys. Also today we are talk about ceiling modular. Okay. So welcome to the class. Uh, follow me first. Uh, we'll start with this to do a four plan first. Okay, just drag a rectangle and the size uh, this one will give it 5,000. 5,000. Okay, and this one will give it 6,000. Okay, I'll give you guys time to create the four plan first. Okay, then later we'll do on the ceiling. Okay, give you one minute. Okay, look. Okay, I note you are uh, so later after class I will send you lah. Uh, oh, okay. Look, Ejun. Okay. After class I will send you the homework checklist. Okay. So just in case you guys didn't drop down my number, I will just tap here. Uh, tap here again uh, in case for the late comer. Or uh, if you want the homework checklist. Uh, you can let me know lah. Okay. Okay, guys. Time's up, ah. So we are going to inside. Go inside room. Okay. So if you don't want this uh cornice or skirting, you can always hide here. Okay. Hide here. We're gonna start with the ceiling function. No? come to this one. Custom. Okay. Today, today is a simple lesson, so we click this one. Uh, I'll give you one minute. Click in the ceiling, then you may see blue color. Click on here, uh, ceiling design. Okay, give you one minute. Okay, another newcomer, Yen. Okay, never mind. Okay, time's up. So I'll go inside first. Ceiling design, okay? So this is the ceiling uh, we have. Oh, actually this one, uh, oh, sorry uh, guys. My mistake, uh, I forget already. So uh, if you do want the ceiling, right, you can exit. Then you may see something like this. You can click on here now, got a layer generate so if you don't want the ceiling you can press delete so this might mean no ceiling okay if you create ready then you will see something like this cover okay so you can delete also okay we have a simple method to do ceiling also not necessarily you create by yourself you can also drag the sample from here okay let's say I drag one sample from here maybe uh, I drag this one I drag this one put here once you drag, later we can go inside modify it. Ah. Just drag first. Uh. I'll give you one minute. Then later I will teach you how to go inside modify the ceiling. Then you don't need to do so much. checklist so I will drop down la. ok 
Okay, guys, time's up. Huh? So we go into the room. Okay. So you can see the ceiling have done already for the pattern. If you like the pattern, you can use it. Uh, but usually we will modify it. Lah. So you can also double click on it. Okay. Uh, enter the free drawing mode. Never mind. We'll go inside. Okay. So here is the S6 ceiling. We can modify it. Okay. And this time I need to move the chart here. Oh, because uh, my 3D are here. Okay. So I'll adjust my screen first. This one put here. This one put here. Okay. How about that? I keep this one. Okay, never mind. Huh? I keep this one. Okay, you can see the ceiling 3D here. We can modify uh, the thing here. Okay. So you can, if you don't like this one, you can delete the pattern. Or you can delete the pattern. Or you skew the pattern also can. You can see here. Let's say I press the button T. Oh, T, you see, become a uh, rotate. Press the button T again, become resize. So I can move it. Also. Oh. I can move the rectangle also. Oh. So you can change the size here also. Like uh, this one, I put 600. I want to do some pattern. To do some pattern. 600. 600 600 okay try the button T or you can do it or just change the number then you will suit the size then you no need adjust calculate so much okay I'll give you one minute you can modify always try out modify then you set your time okay Okay, time is up. So, uh, beside we can change the size here, or you can change the size here, or okay. Then this one, remember, click back to the T or the T for button. Click back the T button so you can move it. Okay. And here we're gonna go for a uh, corner lah. Now we're gonna go for a corner. How to change the edge lah? Oh. So you can click on this one, chamfer here. Or this one, I'll keep back the tab. Okay, keep back the tab. Chamfer here, this button, or you can uh, change the corner. Okay, so let's say I change one first, lah, or just to show you. Okay, here the corner, so it will be this one. So this is the normal right angle. So maybe I change it to outer fillet. Okay, you can zoom in and see. Ah, become a fillet. Okay, so maybe the radius is not big enough. You can change it to one hundred or two hundred. Also can. Or if you want to play the game like this, also can. Okay, about this one, uh, about here the edge, right? This one is here. Okay. So let's say if you want smoother a bit, or uh, then you can change the edge. This one the edge. Okay. So I will come to here. Let's say I want to change the edge, uh, make it smoother, or may put twenty. Uh, eleven is the limit, uh, Or they always have a limit. Okay. So make sure you understand, uh, Eleven. Or you don't want, then you just put five. Also can, oh, doesn't matter. Okay, so I'll give you try the button first. Later we'll do the pattern. Okay, try this one or this one first. Huh? Okay, outer figure. I'll give you one minute.
Chong. Oh, never mind, guys. If you come late, never mind. Later, uh, when we have a short break, I will mark the attendance again. Oh, don't worry about that. For currently, uh, the attendance actually are not important. Uh, but uh, important is if you want the silver cert, you can just submit the homework. Okay. Even you didn't come to the class, we got YouTube. Everything on YouTube. Okay. So don't worry about that. Usually, attendant are uh, to inform your boss that yeah, you have attend, uh, okay? Or oh, you didn't attend. Okay, guys, time's up. So we continue. Uh, let's say this corner we have another one called inner filler. You can click on it. You see this one called inner filler. Uh, you can adjust the radius. Maybe this one I put three hundred. Also, it look bigger. And the edge maybe more than ten. Can maybe. Uh, still more a bit uh. okay so you can put the T so or you can see that here smoother okay try inner filler okay give you one minute So it can help you do some pattern you want or by using rectangle and the discord chamfer. Okay, time's up. So another one, cut corner. Cut corner are uh, also combat. This one, the radius also, you can put 200 or this one. Just a corner or nothing special. And this one are uh, inside right angle. You can see the radius also uh, maybe 200 uh, you can make it bigger okay so follow me first uh, I will choose back the right angle okay use the batch edit okay now we're gonna do this one to outer fillet or make a smoother one and here radius we make it 300 okay so overall my ceiling can look like around uh, here the pattern so I'll give you one minute oh, you can test uh, the two if you want and choose the right angle I'll give you two mi uh, I'll give you two minutes okay choose the outer figure okay outer figure two minutes Remember select the rectangle or follow the rectangle or else you will do on the other side. Okay, time's up. 
So this is how you change the chamfer. Okay. Uh, now we're coming to this one called material. Or we can edit the material here. Okay. Maybe I'll just simply drag one material from here. Okay. Uh, this one can edit the texture. Like usually, are uh, this one. Okay. Texture map. No texture. Okay. Maybe I'll drag some texture to show you the different. Or maybe we drag uh, something more realistic. A uh, wood grain. Let's try. Maybe drag this one to here. Or you don't want uh, color if you can. Wallpaper, also okay. better wallpaper lah, so you can see the pattern. Okay, I'll drag wallpaper. Oh. So you can see how we modify it. Okay. So just drag one of the wallpaper. Oh, one of the wallpaper. Oh, we got a lot of wallpaper also. Okay, simply drag one uh, I may need to teach you how to edit the texture only. Okay. Maybe this one also can. Remember this one can apply on ceiling, uh, uh wall and the platform also lah, uh, okay. But we talk in we teach in the ceiling only, okay. So just drag one wallpaper or uh, wallpaper. Give you one minute. Okay, time's up guys. So uh, after that, uh, we will come to here. Or oh, you can change the size. Let's say this one are uh, too big. I want to make it smaller. Also the texture look uh, better. So I will just unclick this one first. And uh, no, I just take this one. This one make it, be, make it 600. Uh, they will look smaller. Oh, I can take it 600. I take it 600. You can change it for the size and you can rotate also if you want so you can put like 45 degree uh, then the rotate up. 90 degree also can and this one is the texture adjust you can adjust the texture oh. so sometimes you can put some wood pattern here then you adjust the texture also can no problem or oh, there are a lot of people putting wood design on the ceiling okay so I'll give you one minute. Try the button material. Okay, time is up. So we are going to the next. We'll talk about installation of light. Okay, actually this ceiling function we also can install the lighting. Not only you can drag from outside or the crowd. Okay, because sometimes when customer are lazy, they will do this. So you can click on this rectangle first. Then you right click. Okay, right click. Then you may see this one called down light installation. Oh, so click on it. Computer will ask you, uh, the air house will ask you like uh, the light pattern. So this is the limit pattern you can choose. Wow, increase already. We will just got two row. Okay, so I'll simply choose one of the lighting, maybe down light. Or the normal one, usually uh, Malaysia they use down light. Okay, here is the size uh, you cannot change one, or just can see. And this one you can change. So maybe here you can see here, uh, this one. You got a down light setting okay you can click batch usually we'll apply on four right uh, then you see this one is the down light 
I see down line automatic occur. Okay, over edge this one is here to here. Remember, I set this distance uh, 600. Okay, so when I put 300, that means in the center or in the center. Okay. So if you don't want, you want to send it a bit, you can put 450 also can if you like. Okay, but I put back 300. Uh. Okay. And here this one line gap is 1000, which means between like between like. Okay, let's say you want lesser or more. Okay, maybe we make it more. So I change it 1000, make it more, more like thing, uh, more like thing. So I make it 500. Uh, then more like thing, well occur when each of the gap decrease okay so usually 1000 or 1200 or 900 also can or okay depend on your area I think 900 is the best 1200 okay not too much lag later uh, and this one uh, coordinate Z uh, guys zero uh, better you don't change it like uh, why because this one is the vertical uh, the height to the to the floor okay let's say I add 100 uh, then you can see okay maybe I'll go in front a bit I add 100 I uh, see they come down that no meaning one or uh, usually we stick to the ceiling okay so you can try the button I'll give you uh, two minutes. Just right click on the rectangle you want, then they will generate outside the rectangle. Okay. So right click down line. Okay. I'll give you two minutes. Try the button. If you're lazy or you rush time, then you can just click this button. You don't need to drag one by one. Okay guys, uh, time's up. So we continue. Or if you don't want the light, you can just keep clear la, or, But I like this one, so I leave it. Okay. So we coming up to this one. Uh, the next topic will be curve line tube on the wall. So we can return first. Okay. Then you can choose on the wall. Okay. So let me differentiate. Uh, choose the long one. Okay. guys, choose the long wall. Six thousand wall. Okay. Let's click on it and click this button, background wall design. I'm gonna teach you how to do a curve like tube on the wall, some pattern you like. Uh, okay. Uh, I'll give you one minute.
Hello Hello， 你要选这个 texture 的，你看我的 screen 那边，我指那边的那个 texture， 哦，上面那些是它是 m a k 来的，它不是这边 apply 的。Okay, guys. Uh, I got a question from from the class. So this one, uh, the texture, uh, please drag to three D. Uh, okay, you like uh, if you are inside. Okay, let's say you are inside. You need you may need to drag to three D. Oh, uh, drag to three D. Okay. If you're outside here, you just drag to 3D, okay? Ah, okay, ah. So this one, ah, we not only can use texture from the ceiling, we also can use from here crop, okay? Let's say I want something like uh, wood pattern, or oh, also can I if you want, just drag on it, oh. Then you can adjust the pattern, okay? So I continue ah, uh, that one just away method only. Okay, got it. Thank you. Oh, you are Katerina. Uh, ask in the phone. Eh, wait a moment ah, uh, got question. Let me see ah. Uh. Mandy got ask question. Sorry guys, I didn't realize got question ah. Uh. Why I can't put texture on ceiling? I send you video at the WhatsApp. Oh yeah, you are. Oh yeah, Mandy lah. Ah uh, okay. Okay ah, uh, drop down ah, uh, drop down. Uh, sorry, yeah, uh, guys. Uh, we will today. The program has set already. So about extra thing, maybe we will send you a YouTube. Oh, uh, so we need to follow back the lesson according to the time. Okay. Hmm. Okay. I continue. Ah, uh. continue with the lesson first. Okay. The let other week. So go back to the ceiling. Okay. Click the wall background wall design. Okay. Make sure you click inside. Okay. Now I'm gonna teach you how to do the lighting. Or by the method you like, okay. <coughs> so to do uh the lighting right, very simple. You can click this button, polyline or polyline. Then you just draw the pattern you want. Or do you want some curved line? Any pattern you like. Oh, uh, actually, you can do it slow lah, uh, but I uh, no time, so I just show you. Once you draw the line uh, with poly line, uh, then you can click on it. Uh, wait a moment. Uh, okay, click, click this one. Oh, X strip. Okay, X strip. Okay, X strip. Then you see a dot. This dot is the line. Okay. Oh. Okay. Sorry, guys. Uh, I'll repeat this side. Okay, I'll repeat this one. Uh, I'll repeat. Oh. <coughs> so uh, you can use po click on here. Use polyline. Polyline. Okay. Then you can draw the pattern you want. Any pattern you want. After you draw already, you can click on the line, then click this one X strip. Okay, so this X strip, uh, the red dot, uh, is the line. Okay, so you can drag here the light tube. Uh, here the light tube. Maybe I drag this one light tube. Put on here. Then you may see lighting. Oh, this one is the lighting. Okay, the lighting. You can select it, uh. You can change the size if you want. You can uh, rotate it. Okay. You can adjust the color of the lighting. You can increase the intensity, the power of the lighting. Okay. So this one, I may need to give you three minutes uh, to try the button. Oh, this one. Okay. Just use polyline. Draw it. Then use edge. Uh, and drag the button from. Wait a moment, I just want to close it first. Close it first. 
how is it first? Okay, and drag the pattern from section library lamp tube. Okay. So I'll give you three minutes, try the button. Uh, one, two, three, four, the one. Okay. Why no background wall? Uh? Background wall. Uh? Uh, okay. Got two situations uh, you may didn't see background wall. One is generate already. Still remain in ceiling design. Uh. Okay, you need to exit first. If you are in ceiling design, guys, you need to exit first. Or return. Okay. Make sure you are in ceiling custom. Then you click on the wall. Usually you click on the wall. If blue color mean you can generate. If no blue color mean existing are generated already. Uh, so you may need to double click it. Okay. Three minute. Okay. Still remain still. Remain. Okay. straight line uh, your polyline only can draw straight line uh. let me check uh. mm. yeah okay, here I can see wait a moment uh. I move this one on top first actually my one also is a straight line oh, but I just move it like this oh. okay Jim it's a straight line, but I move it, move it, move it, move it, move it. Okay. Ah, the magic are here. Mm. Hope you understand. Okay. So actually, sometimes you guys can draw some pattern, or but you need to uh, adjust by yourself or smoothly. One minute, we'll go for another chapter, another topic. Okay. Again, how to move up? <laughs> okay, I'll show you again, uh, guys. Uh, polyline, or you can draw something like this. You can also close the absorption here, this one the absorption. Oh, then it won't affect so much. Okay. Extreme. Drag the line. So the okay. curve. Or oh, if you want you also can do something like this, uh, since we have a lot of time. <laughs> So maybe you can also do something like this. Uh, they cannot. This one is rectangle. Okay. okay, guys, time's up. Uh. Time's up. So we're going for the next chapter. Uh, the next topic is custom make a TV cabinet and draw art cabinet. Okay. So we're going to here. Okay, this wall are uh, the five thousand one. Okay, the five thousand one wall. Okay, click on it. Background wall design. We're gonna draw a TV cabinet by using ceiling function. Okay, so I'll exit everything first in case you guys don't know. Okay, oh, we're gonna draw on this five thousand. Okay, this wall. Okay, so we go for ceiling function. Same thing ah. Uh. Okay, same thing click on the wall black gown wall design but this time we draw a TV cabinet so I will give you one minute now shift to another wall okay time's up so click inside black gown wall design we are here okay so we draw a 
war cabin war banner first then we will do the TV cabinet also so you just follow me click on the wall first then draw a rectangle or simply draw one rectangle okay then we click on it adjust the rectangle okay the size uh, I mean the size okay so this size uh, I will adjust uh, length okay length and 2000 2008, uh, 2008 is the height okay length we make it 3000 okay 3000 and this one right click make it center align oh, because I'm lazy to change 1000 1000 so I right click center align okay so draw one rectangle change the size and make it center align okay I'll give you two minutes Okay guys, time's up. So now we're gonna need to draw this one called wall banner first or oh, wall wood banner link. Oh, we're gonna start with here. Okay, so uh, we can use this button also. Just draw one rectangle first. Okay, first uh, you must know uh, this one. The off wall, they got 10 mm of the wall. This one is existing also 10 mm of the wall. This one is a rectangle. 10 mm of the wall also but never mind later we will make this hidden oh, this one you can click this button also okay I'll show you here here you can click this one you can untake generate 3d oh. so usually this one will hide now oh. or we just make it less than one it's okay oh. Make it less than one thing. Okay. Okay, we draw the wall banner first. Lah. Wall banner. Click on it, then click on this one first. Click on this one. Then draw the wall banner using rectangle. Okay. Draw one rectangle from here. Or same thing. Select it. Change the length 50 okay and move this one to the corner okay oh no okay remember this one you select right make sure you put it uh 50 then you will see a panel 
이렇게 Okay, I'll repeat this one in case. I'll repeat. Okay. Select the wall, then draw one banner. Okay, you can draw in here or here also can. No problem. Draw one banner. Okay. Change the size, banner size. Okay, change the banner size 50. Then change off the wall to 50. Then you will see the pattern. Then move it. Oh, move it. Join the corner here. We have one banner. Okay. I'll give you one minute. Uh, two minute. Uh. Two minute. Here better, I think. Put here. Okay guys, time's up. So first thing, uh, later we will du duplicate this banner to here. Lah, okay, but before that, we need to drag material first or in case. So we go for section library. I know, material library, texture. Okay, uh, find this one called wood grain. Okay, so you simply drag one of the wood you think is perfect. So this time maybe I drag this one. Just drag apply to the surface first. Later, I will teach you how to copy it. Then the texture will copy also. Okay. Oh, drag to the three D R. Drag to the three D R. Okay. Okay, they got three sides. Okay, so I'll give you one minute, two minute, around two minute. Come to here, try. Two minute.
Okay, guys. Uh, time's up. No, time's up. Okay. So we will have a short minute uh, break lah, or to let you have a refreshment first. Okay, because it's one almost one hour. Or we can take a short break first. Later, you go toilet, refresh yourself. Then we will continue again ten minutes. Okay. So I'll tap here. No. Now is uh, ten fifty four. So I will make it eleven zero five a.m. Continue. Okay, you can go for refreshment, go for toilet, or go have a tea first. Then later come back, we'll continue. Okay. So I'll silent here.
Okay, guy. Uh, so we continue. Uh. Mm, okay. So we continue to lesson. About the polyline, the polyline you have to draw yourself uh, that one smooth. Uh, I cannot teach you that one. <laughs> okay, you have to uh, draw yourself that one. Okay, so uh, if you uh, think not smooth, you can sometimes you draw already, you can control that, you can undo it back. Okay, so uh, okay, we continue here. Banner, uh, okay, so this banner, uh, we're gonna need to uh, copy it. Okay, copy it. Okay, just copy it to here a few banner. Okay. Uh, this banner I will copy to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 okay? so maybe I'll just right click then paving continuous paving so we approximately 3 banner or, okay? 3 banner then click it eh, sorry okay? repeat that uh. right click paving continuous Okay, you can type a gap here or so the banner will have a gap like 50 gap okay then we put three banner enough or you can see my drawing here got three banner okay something like this then you create the banner so I repeat that uh, you can see here I repeat uh, at this size also okay I'll maybe uh, copy one oh, no I'll repeat I use control Z later that one I show you again okay so you can do yourself okay I'll repeat right click I want to click on this right click paving continuous okay then you got three banner or uh, you can give a gap first 50 gap add the gap on top just type in the number only it will automatic have a gap okay so I'll put three banner as you can see then you click it okay so I'll give you two minutes, try the button. Can't right click or you need to why you cannot right click? Huh? Never mind, exit first or clear cache. Okay, my one has some error. Never mind, we clear cache first. Then we refresh the page up. Remember, save. Okay. <coughs> Choose one line and show only. Uh, Joyce, uh, you need to click on the rectangle, not the line. Or make sure you click on the rectangle. Okay. Don't worry, we are using uh, cloud-based system. So everything, as long as you control S, okay, uh, you can clear cache. Then you control S, save your file. Then later you can go back to this button, okay. So this one I put control two, so you can see everything. Uh, this one I'll give you guys uh, one minute, huh? One minute. 
so you uh, copy the this one uh, copy the rectangle remember zoom in first if you cannot select okay then select the rectangle okay zoom in Or you can zoom in, select the rectangle. Okay, guys, time's up. Uh. So now we copy one of the rectangle here. This one, I'm um, copy. So I'll just right click. You can see copy button. Then you can paste one here. Then you adjust it. Right click. Okay. So I select it. Okay. Move it to the corner. always can zoom so don't worry about that can zoom okay then do the same thing or do the same thing zoom in right click and paving continuous okay in here you can give a 50 gap okay then make sure it's three panel click so our wall panel have done okay This one may be put back. Oh, remember, control S up when you're done. Where to put the gap? You just key in the number, Joyce. You just key in the number, or it will automatically have the gap. check first uh, this one is 50 correct ten okay never mind okay guys time's up uh. so we're gonna draw the TV cabinet uh, or TV cabinet here okay how to move uh, uh, move you may just click on it okay and make sure uh, it's this icon or uh, if not, you may press T to change it. Oh, you can see this one is rotate. T, this one is resize. Oh, you see this icon? T, this one is circle. This one is move. Okay, you can uh, click this one. Oh, you can click on here. You can move it. Oh. Okay, uh, now we go for uh, cabinet. Okay, TV cabinet. Uh, okay. We draw, we draw, we click on here first. Remember, always click on the wall. Uh, oh. Then you uh, draw this one uh, rectangle. Oh. Simply draw one rectangle. Oh. Draw one rectangle here. Okay. This rectangle, I will make it 2000 uh, because I got 500 here, 500 here. So this one, I will make it 2000. Okay. The length, make it 2000. And the white, we make it. 450 maybe. Hmm. Okay, if you want 500, it's okay. Then the gap here, I will put like 300. Oh, 300. It's okay. Hmm. Then this rectangle, if can, the off the wall, you put as 500. So it come out already.
Okay, my wife has some error. So same thing, I do the same thing. Click here, uh, Ctrl S. Okay. Refresh. this one never mind oh, this one so far never mind I'll draw again the back side so I'll draw this one 3000 Okay, cannot see my TV cabinet. Okay, never mind. I'll delete this one. Delete this one. Okay. So we move it. This one I'll move it here. No, and this one, maybe I'll move here. Okay. Uh, copy one. Control S. Copy and paste one here. I use paste la. Oh. Right click. Paste, continuous paste, we put one here, I type 3000 no. Okay, copy one, just copy one Quickly copy one, put here Paving. Fifty. Okay. okay, so now we continue. Uh, this one TV cabinet. Also, our uh, same thing uh, We make curve uh, This one I will make curve. Okay. Uh, but before that, I would like to. Here, then you can click curve. Chain fill, or you can click on this one. Outer fillet, then change it to 200. So you look curve lock. Okay. I'll give you one minute, or you can click this one. Make a curve TV.
Okay, time is up. So maybe this one we can uh, draw a hole here. Okay, you can use rectangle also to create the hole. Lah. Okay, maybe uh, select this one. Create a hole here, rectangle. Okay, then this one I'll make it 10. So you can see the hole. Okay. So I'll give you one minute, draw one rectangle inside. Later we draw maybe two drawer. Okay, time's up. So uh, you can also draw another rectangle here for drawer. La. But actually this one is up to your creativity uh, guys. So we just let you know uh, you can have this function to do it. Okay. So let me check with this one first. And the rectangle here is 1616. Okay. So maybe I'll divide 3 first. Let me calculate the number. You can also drag the drawer from uh, this one called system cabinet okay so 538 so my drawer here this one rectangle i'll give it 538 i'll divide by 3 okay create one drawer mm, rectangle and okay draw one rectangle so this one the gap is 538 538 and the, and Move it first. Move it first. Okay. Okay. Then the press T, or I usually like to use T. Then adjust the side in one. Okay. Then change it off to the wall. So maybe this one I'll put five hundred also lah. Then they will come out something like this. Okay. Press T again. Oh, remember every time you use T button then remember turn it back to the movement button okay so when next time later you can copy okay this one maybe I need taller a bit press T again make it taller a bit Then later you copy one, uh, may, uh, con right click, copy, then paste here, one, okay, right click, exit, uh, you can move it. Oh, this one seven, make it zero. So you can use system cabinet also add glasses here, or if you want, or F banner here also can. Okay, still up to you guys all about the design. So I'll give you two minutes. Then later we'll go for this one called what? Uh? New light. 
Okay. New line. Okay, time's up. Uh, okay, time's up. Since time's up, so we come to here. We can apply material first. Uh. Maybe I'll teach you about material first. Uh. Just put some material on the TV cabinet. Okay, so maybe I will just click on it. Right click. I'll click on it. This one. Apply the material. This one, I may untake it. Or to see other material. Maybe we drag other other material also here. I draw one rectangle here, one rectangle here. Later here, I apply different material. Okay, take back. Or the easier method. This one, I will draw one material. Rectangle. Then I add another rectangle also. Just as two rectangle later, we can apply different material. Here I will apply marble maybe, then this one will give uh, some wood texture also. Oh, but up to you guys, uh, you can put anything you want. Okay, remember this one put back T. Okay, I'll give you one minute. Okay, time is up. So I exit first, return. So you can drag not only material from here, you can also drag material from here, like crowd. Okay, so this one I'll hide first. Hide this one, this one, hide this one. Okay, hide the corner, hide the cornice and the corner uh, skirting. So here I'll just drag some pattern. Uh, this one I'll drag mirror, or oh, mirror map. We put brown mirror, brown mirror. Okay, this one I'll put a marble pattern. Mm, marble uh, university. Metal mm, acrylic. Where is the stone? Stone. And yeah, maybe I put this like a wallpaper also can, but never mind. Try this one. Uh, this one. This one better. Okay. Here you can put some wood texture maybe mm, some wood texture I'll put some wood texture uh, wood texture you can go for where is my wood texture ah, solid wood material maybe try this one mm. can apply it This one I'll make it as a box la, or as a box. So I may use fabric also if one. If you don't want you can put wood texture also. Uh, maybe I put back the wood texture. La. Mm. Material. Texture also.
Okay, here you need to put material also lah. Oh. But that one we don't talk lah. Don't waste our time. Okay. So just let you know we can apply material also. Okay. So I will give you two minutes. Apply the material as you want. Okay. Then later we'll go for another chapter. New light. How to create new light with texture. Or oh, then doing this new light. Okay. So please apply the material. Okay, guys, time's up. Uh. So now we come back to this one. Uh. Oh, we're gonna do uh, this one called new light or the topic new light with texture. Okay, so simply just go back, double click here. Oh, we're gonna use a uh, text. Okay, teach you how to do new light. So I'll wait you one minute. I'll oh, come back to this uh, surface. Okay, this wall. Okay, time's up. So you can click on this wall, right click, you can click this button. Uh, what the button? Import modeling, local area. Okay, you can click on it. So I'll go find my file. If you have downloaded my file, then you can use it. Okay, uh, this one. Today we are in ceiling modular. Ah, this one. Oh, the DXF. Our ceiling function can import DXF. Okay, so maybe those pattern you don't want, then you can use DXF to do it. Okay, so click it first. Ah, yeah. Never mind. I'll select Control. Select it. Okay, move it. Oh, so you can see clearly here. So I'll give you one minute. Import the DXF first. Uh, if you have. If you don't have, never mind, you can look down. The next time you can try. Later we will do new light on the words. <laughs> Give you one minute. Okay, time's up. 
So this one will just use as a guideline, like how guys. I have uploaded it, but it not show. Okay, you have uploaded it. Are you upload the file I give you, Catherine? Yes. Okay, you can save first, return, then refresh, or maybe it not show only. Okay. Or you need some time to load the file also. Okay. You give me the DWG. Yes. Uh, this one is the DWG I give you guys uh, and the invited link there uh, you can download okay uh, so I continue uh, guys sorry uh, out of time uh. so I continue first okay so the new light are uh, quite simple uh, later I will give you a time try or uh, you see first uh. Uh, you can go for this one polyline also okay we use this one draw manually uh, you can draw here and maybe here so I click, draw again. Okay. So I need time to draw this one also. I'll just be careful draw. Okay. So about the smoothness, uh, it's up to you. Uh, you need to just move it correctly, la. move it carefully. Because eventually when it comes out with effect, uh, you cannot see one. Or you just see the light come out from this curve. Okay, right click. Okay, always right click and complete. Showing on, but did you guys success import the DXF? Wait a moment, uh, later maybe I show again how to import. Oh, okay, later I show again. Uh, let me finish this one. Uh. <laughs> okay, don't worry. Uh, sometimes it's just not loading on it. Okay, because this one I have done a lot of time already. So usually have no mistake then you will okay. If got then maybe the internet you need to wake. Okay, I'll show you first, later I will do again. Okay. So this one uh, after you use polyline to uh, draw already, then you can click on the line here, same thing long. No? Oh, click on the line here, okay, uh click X shape. Okay, track the lamp tube. On it. Maybe I want to circle this one. I don't want rectangle. I want to circle, yes, in the center. Okay, and this one also, I'll do the same. Mm. X feet, circle, circle. Okay, need to save in the XF first, right? Uh, yeah, the file, but I give you the file is the XF, so don't worry about that. Okay, so this one, uh, if let's say got this happen, right? Guys, uh, you always can come back here, adjust it a bit. No? Adjust it a bit. But I need to go back here to see. No, I cannot see. Boom, boom, boom. Hmm. Okay, you see, eventually doesn't affect much. Okay, they are same like thing. No? So don't worry about the curve not smooth. Okay, eventually you cannot see. Edge. Uh, just track this one first oh, for the lighting. Let me finish it, then I will come to you guys. H send us a DW file or we is DW file should be the except for wait a moment I'll check later. 
Okay, let me complete this one. So this is how you do the new light uh, guys this is how you do the new light okay so the words uh this one the text right if you don't want i think can delete also but doesn't matter i cannot see also all the words okay let's say delete uh, you still have the line okay so this is how you do the new light Okay, let me double check with the file first. Mm. Uh, extension class, extension class, ceiling uh, modular. It's a DXF file. That one I sent to you, uh, upload there. Never mind, I'll resend to you guys. Uh, or never mind, you guys can drop down first. Later you can try. Okay? Later, if you have AutoCAD, you can try uh, to draw some words or anything. You try, okay? This is the method, lah. You need to know, lah. Okay. Coming up, we have uh, this one called skirting and cornice. Uh, so I will give you two minute, a uh, three minute. Try this one, okay? Three minutes. Later, we we'll talk about the cornice and skirting, okay? So let me see. Can send the file to you guys or not? Can send me this file. Yeah, I check. Uh. I check my Google Drive again. My Google. Ceiling modular. This one is DWG. Oh no wonder, uh, guys! Uh, if you have AutoCAD, uh, you can uh, save it as uh, DXF. Then should be fine. Okay, never mind. I'll upload now. Okay, I'll upload one. Uh. Hmm. Extension file. Okay, DXF. Okay, you guys can go back to the link uh, we send you in the invitation uh, at the XF already. Oh, we can check. Okay, the XF. Oh, so you can see here if the thing cannot use, you can see here the file only accept this four pattern. Okay. Okay, time's up. Uh. This one you may need to practice later. Lah. Oh, don't worry, we got YouTube. Or oh, if you miss out, you can still refer. Okay, so now I'm gonna go for this one, the last uh, chapter, which is let me check. Uh. The last chapter, which is Cornice and Skirting Manually. Okay, so we will do with uh, this one 
skirting first. Uh, skirting first. Okay. How to do the skirting? Let's say we have a TV cabinet here, or then we have a skirting here. Okay. Usually you just click here. Okay. Go back to the ceiling design. I'll go back to the ceiling design. I exit everything. Go back to the ceiling design. Double click here. Okay. Give you one minute. Okay, time is up. Okay, let's say uh, here. All this one should be here. So I try to delete one of the lighting to check which one is correct. This one maybe I'll delete the light. Okay, no. We go back. Okay, we start with here. I'll start with here. To do manually, you can use this one. No. You can click our oh, it's here first. Then click this one, polyline. You can start draw with the polyline here to here here to here okay then you can click on the line here polyline extra okay then you can add corners also okay there are same method like the this one called what? Uh? There are same method like the lighting la, or the light tube. Or oh, you see, I add, then it becomes yellow color. Then you see the corner. And corner here. Okay. So I not correctly, I move it. Oh, come out. Then I rotate it. Long. Rotate it. Mirror it. La. Should be mirror it. Hmm. Then you see the pattern. Okay. Oh, so do not draw the polyline here lah, oh, because this one is the TV cabinet. Okay. You can try. I'll give you. Eh, this one put here first lah. Sorry. Yeah. Okay, I'll give you two minutes. You can resize the cornice also, guys. Or if you don't like it, you can change also. Like delete it, drag another cornice. Okay, also using polyline, but the edge. Using this one, the edge strip method. So the cornice will follow your line to, to create.
Okay, time's up, uh, guys. So this one, uh, remember, you can do cornice manually. Uh, even the skirting are same method. Okay, now I'm going to teach you how to draw, uh, how to put some material on the cornice. Okay, so they are same. Uh, if you want to draw, uh, you can use polyline to draw any pattern. Uh, then you can do the cornice. Okay, so we're going to here, go out first. I'm going to teach you how to apply material. They have some different material for the cornice. Okay. Let me see uh, if I still remember the picture. Ah, uh, here decorative picture. Okay, you can go for public decorative picture. Okay, I'll give you one minute. Okay, time's up. Okay, on the side. So you can see here we got ceiling decorative morph. So this one is white color, usually just white. No? And if you want pattern, you see this kind of pattern we also have, you can just drag. You can see like the pattern. No? So got apply different material like this one, no? more uh, European style. But depend on you how to apply it. Okay. This is the home actor. Okay, you can try. I'll give you one minute. I don't put wire. Huh? Okay, time's up. Okay, we the last thing uh, I'm gonna teach you uh this one also uh, this one the last thing we can go back to the ceiling function ceiling design click on here oh. this one uh, remember this one I told you we can use chamfer right oh, but we also can use this method okay let's say i use wall i better use wall oh, this ceiling are really nice already so i use here i'll use this wall okay just to show you okay so let's say uh, i've got a rectangle uh, click on the surface okay i click rectangle first and uh, i click rectangle first yes rectangle okay uh, give you one minute, you can draw also. Okay, time's up. So maybe uh, you can draw another one called circle. Oh, you can draw one circle. Also. Draw here into the middle. Remember, always select the wall. Uh, or these two uh, pattern, you must select the wall, then create. Then later, I will show you something to make it another curve. Give you one minute. Okay, time's up. So you can uh, move this circle. Uh, you can move this circle. Okay, like this. 
then you can control select these two or circle and rectangle right click them you may see this button called boolean operation you can make them like a union or different them also can or you can try then you become curve so you not only can use the chamfer to create also you can do it manually like this also this is the old fashioned way lah. okay just right click you may see boolean so maybe I add another circle here okay then move it yeah too big okay select the wall first and I'll add circle remember must select the wall Control select to right click. You may see this button. Okay, try. Give you one minute. Okay, time is up. So that's all for today, lah, guys. Okay, that's all for today. So uh, I exit first, lah. Huh? Oh. If you have any question, you can ask me, lah, in the WhatsApp, maybe. Oh, that's all for today, lah, guys. Uh, if you cannot follow, you can go for YouTube. Search this one also. Oh, in case, lah. Okay, I'll share screen again. Oh. If you cannot follow, you can go for YouTube. This one, okay. Here, uh, our YouTube here. www. YouTube can go for this one at our house. Yeah, or we are on live also. We can refer back, okay. And you can go for this one also. The topic is this one, ceiling modular. Oh. Okay, we always have backup. Don't worry. Okay, so I'll share, stop the share because it's twelve already. Yeah, thank you guys. Bye. Okay, bye. So I stop this one first. Stop this one first.